Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Will Motivation and in today's video, I'm going to introduce you guys to my new Audi S6 2021. For those of you guys that have been around on my channel for a while, it is going to be totally transformed by my man Roger, who is uh, a vehicle rapper in the central Ohio area. So he wrapped my S6, so I'm gonna show that to you. But on my channel, not only do I like to share my experiences with uh, some of these supercars that I own, like the um, Venador SV or the Ferrari F12 or the Lamborghini Huracan that's here in my garage, not only do I like to share um, you know, my experience with these cars and you know, like the new Audi S6 and all that good stuff, I also like to share a little bit of motivation and some of the things that have kept me motivated um, and some of the things that have helped me along the way to be able to get where I am, where I can enjoy some of these supercars. I like to share real world experiences and my own experiences. It's about three o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, you know, edit this video real quick so I can share with you guys. And I was actually feeling a little bit down and I don't like to use this word lightly, but it's just a little bit like depressed or something. I don't know, not, you know, anything serious or anything like that. But I noticed over the years that sometimes in certain parts of the year, like for me, it's like the fall. I get a tad bit like a feeling of depression or something like at the end of the summer. And um, I don't know if it's like seasonal or I don't know if it's um, actually uh, my workload because I'm I'm going through a period right now with my business where I had a super high workload so my motivational message for today is everything starts and ends with your mindset so what do I mean by that like if your mindset is not correct then you can immediately end all of your hopes and dreams if your mindset is correct, then you can begin to walk towards or get closer to or to actually achieve all of your dreams. But it starts and ends with your mindset. And I know that I know like mindset is used a lot and maybe it's overused and people don't know what other people mean by mindset. But basically what it means is it's like what I'm dealing with, these like feelings that I have right now. I'm being a little bit overwhelmed. I've got a lot of work to do. I've been busy for years and years and years. A lot of sacrifices. You know, <laughs> I grind. I work hard. And sometimes I kind, of, you know, you kind of like reflect, like, what am I, what am I actually doing? Like, is it, is it worth it? Or you know, why do I feel a little bit burnt out and stuff like that? You got to remember though, the mindset that it takes to be successful and achieve the things that you want to achieve needs to be the type of mindset that is positive and the type of mindset that where you believe that you can achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve, whether that's being happy in general, whether that's um, financial success or whether that's success, uh, you know, in your family life or your personal life, whatever it is, you have to believe that you can get that you know, that level or that measure of success and that mindset is believing it so that you can walk towards it and feel those feelings of what it will feel like, those positive feelings um, that you'll have when you achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. That is the mindset. You have to believe that and you have to move forward to it and you have to expect good things to happen. Because if you don't and you start to feel like, 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 I, like I said, I have these little these little moments, I usually could sleep it off, so it's not like anything serious. So like I said, I don't want to use that word lightly, um, like depression or whatever. But every time, you know, every now and then, sometimes we get, we feel down or whatever. We feel beat up or whatever it might be. But you got to always reset your mind and put yourself into the frame of mind that you will be successful, that you expect to have success, you expect to be happy, and you expect to be in a good place in the future and not the opposite because sometimes you can let those feelings take over. You can feel like something bad is gonna happen and doom and gloom or whatever. And then you move with that energy and then you go in that direction and that's where you end up. So remember, success 
starts and ends with mindset. All right. So you guys make sure to adjust and reset your mindset however you have to do it. Sometimes it's leaving um, a certain lifestyle. Sometimes it's, you know, being around different people. Sometimes it's being by yourself. Sometimes it's letting go of bad habits. But reset your mindset. Picture what it is you want and what success means to you. Feel that feeling of that, that happiness or that you know positivity of what that success will be like and then move with that and expect it and then move put yourself in the in the motion towards those things that you want all right so that's my little motivation for the day um, we all have like little bouts of not feeling good or not feeling feeling like a funk just reset yourself get some good rest eat well and reset your mind and focus all right that's my motivation for the day i'm about to edit this video share my uh s6 with you guys and remember like and when you are successful, success is not always material things because you can have all the Lamborghinis in the world, all the material wealth in the world, and that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be happy. Happiness is being having peace of mind, being around people that you want to be around, doing the things that you want to do, and having some level of freedom. You know what I'm saying? So remember that. All right, I'll see you at the top. Um, this S6 is going to be probably the first and only S6 2021 that has been wrapped on YouTube so stay tuned all right so we just made it here to Rogers house so Rogers getting ready to go through the process of what he's gonna do with the S6 so I mean the, the first thing that obviously will happen probably tomorrow morning before the Sun's up when the car is cool there's a full decontamination process this is one of the reasons why I'm excited about working with Roger because as soon as we start talking about doing raps and that kind of thing, I could see how detail oriented he was. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Will Motivation. And today we are in the Lamborghini Aventador SV. We are headed to a car show, but the special treat for today is we are going to get our first impressions of the wrap on my Audi S6. It's a dope new color. It's going to be our first time seeing it. First time introducing it to you guys. So stay tuned. We are going to check out the wrap on the S6. And if you haven't seen the wrap on my uh, Lamborghini SV, you'll get to see that here shortly. But let's go. Okay, so we just got to the um, car show. We've got Roger here, and Roger wrapped my S6. So we're about to check out the S6 here in a second. I'm waiting for uh, these guys to come out. All right, y'all want to check it out? Stocks. I'm excited. The color. The color. Wow. It looks a lot wow. different than when you left it. So the car was white before. White has to be probably the hardest color. It, it is to wrap on a vehicle. And, and there's a lot of real estate on this car. I mean, the S6, every generation has got successively bigger. There's a lot of detail, a lot of um, orifices that you have to feed the film into, a lot of disassembly work. So when you look at it, you don't see too much white, if any, in certain areas. Okay, so all I need now is a tent. And this thing is a beast. All right, you guys ready to check it out? And the color is called Matte Valacious Blue. Matte Valacious Blue. I almost the forgot. Retro Restyling exclusive KPMF film. KPMF is the film. Wow. 
Whoa! All right, check out the brushed aluminum. Had to do it. The brushed aluminum. It's also on the, the mirrors as well. Man! I love, I love how it looks with the black, the gloss black. It's just sort of dialed it up a notch. I mean, Definitely. the white was good. Now it just looks properly made. Yeah, man, it looks custom. Drop the ride height a little bit with the skirts and things on it as well. And man. It looks, looks pretty special. Yo. Wow. I love the um, the matte finish, man. And then we've got the, the red seats that's kind of set it off a little bit. There it is. So that's the original color. So of course, we didn't want to go crazy with the door jams and, and, and all that kind of stuff, but man, that looks good. Matte, valacious blue. It looks salacious. So you guys check them out, Essex Auto. So I'll make sure to drop a link <clears throat> in the description of this video for um, his Instagram and also contact details. But if you want to shout out, um, you know, like how folks can contact you at this point or... Yeah, so we have an Instagram page, it's relatively new, but um, we're building a portfolio of work on today. I haven't updated it for a while, um, but I certainly will do with this and a few other cars that we've, um, we've done on um, the last few months. Cool. So you guys look for the description, or not the description, but the link to his Instagram page in the description of this video. And wow, man, this looks this looks good. All right, so what what were some of the challenges with the S6? I, I would say, I mean, disassembly was extremely time consuming. Um, just the detail, the additional piano black furniture that is on the front bumper. Um, just a lot of finesse to take it all apart, just to get the film in there so it's as seamless as possible. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of inlays in that front bumper. Um, you can't sort of tell on face format, but they are there blended in just to give you that crisp flow. Um, parking sensors, this car is covered in them. So okay. Those are always a little bit more okay. challenging as well with the okay. rubber gasket to feed the vinyl in there to get a clean and still. That's a lot of detail. I saw when you took it apart that there was like white behind the grill. So. I know like the disassembly like with the white you can't just like no, I mean, wrap it and there, there is there is inlays around the um the headlight washer system I mean it you put stuff back and then you realize that there's still some white showing okay okay so, it came out great it looks fantastic I love the uh really happy with the color. yeah and the yeah, and the aluminum, um, man, that looks what crazy. I, what I did with the side skirts and the front splitter, those were a gloss, a very shiny gloss black plastic to begin with. Avery vinyl is not the tackiest, um, so everything has been extra post-heated. But obviously those side skirts were never made to have vinyl applied. Vinyl isn't necessarily okay. made to right stick to the stick to plastic. Yeah. What I did do, particularly with the side skirts, and you'll have seen that with some of the nice plus tape images that I sent you. Yep. If there is a problem with those, we can just remove that vinyl without actually having to take the side skirt off, and you'll just have pristine gloss black okay. underneath, or we can try to rewrap them. Okay. I like I that though. Sort of thinking ahead, like who's yep. the next person that has to touch this? Yep. You know, Man, when you get good. rid of this, you put it back to stock. You know, how can we facilitate okay. that process to make it easier? Okay. If you didn't like the brushed aluminium, you know, how could we do it so you could just remove it? Yep. With the side skirts, it's sort of a three-quarter wrap. So what you can do is okay. just heat it and pull off the brushed okay. aluminium. The gloss black will obviously be fresh underneath. Yep. You won't have to remove the side skirt to do it. Okay. The front splitter, yep. as you saw in some of the update images, that was completely wrapped, um, but that just bolts onto the um, Okay. Um, so you've got options there for the future. I know yep. this is a daily driver. Yep. You know, it's it's going to get bugs and stone chips. So yep. once you lower it, it may sort of scrape the splitter. And speaking and of stuff. bugs and stone chips, it's ceramic coated as well, right? It, it has a Dr. Beasley um, matte 
ceramic film coated kit that was actually applied twice to the paint. Wow. Um, that's just going to facilitate you maintaining the vehicle. Yep. It's not bulletproof. I mean, yep. matte is a very delicate surface, whether it is paint or whether it is vinyl. Yep. But what it does do is just give you that extra layer of protection just to keep it looking as fresh as possible longer. The B2 was covered in that as well. You know, that, that's and it's, been on and it's looking it's good. So weak. Okay. It's gone to various shows, it's got plastered with bugs and things. And so far everything has washed off pretty seamlessly with the right products as well. You've just got to be careful with things like tire shine, anything that's greasy that's going to obviously accentuate something being on the, the wrap. Yep. Because you've got that contrast between the mat. Yep. Um, you've got to be careful of what products that you're using on the car as well. Nothing that has any gloss enhancers, like some of the Maguire shampoos, yep. because obviously it's going to interfere okay, with the, with the mat, right? Um, you know, certain traffic film removers that detailers use to obviously expedite the process, you're going to have sensitivity to that potentially. So you just have to be a little bit more methodical with how you care for the car in general. Obviously, you're not going to take that through a car wash or anything, right. as with any wrap, because it's it's going to take a, a battery. Um, but outside Man. of that, it's protected as much as you can to protect the car. And, okay. You know, it's it's going to give you that um, extra insurance. With the you use it as a daily. Excellent, man. So there it is, folks. We've got the brand new wrap on the S6. It's looking silky. Every time I see the spinach, I want to touch it. Man. Then we've got the then we've got the black roof with the black behind it right there. Black on the uh, on the antenna right there. Man, silky. I love the rear end, man. Still got the black S6 logo and the Audi. Yes, sir. This, this, was Crispy. Little, this was a little challenging, the bumper to do in one piece. Ordinarily, on a bumper like this, you would try and do perhaps an inlay, but there is no sort of body line to give you a break. So what I did is did inlays around the lights yep. in here. There's an inlay in this recess here, and then when the film was applied to the rear bumper, what it allowed me to do was make a cut here and pivot this point of the film down to then feed and shoot across here. So what that does Technique. is just, just avoids any seams mm -hmm. so you just have a flush, seamless finish along the back of the rear. Man, it looks good. Just to try and make it as clean as possible. Man, it looks good. And then I saw the detail that was put into... Yep. All of that was removed and then it's got 3M body line tape just to put it all back to, to factory specifications. Yep. There's actually three different grades of 3M body line tape used to remount the fixtures on the tailgate. You've got a three quarter inch um, foam on the, the lip spoiler. You've got one of 3M's finest tapes to obviously give you the, the flush badge as it was from factory yep and then you've got sort of a medium grade on the s6 logo to put that back to factory specifications as well so Man, it's just little good. bits and pieces like yeah. that to get everything back the detail as it was you know before it was wrapped and before everything was removed the detail so you guys didn't understand that basically he he removed the little lip so that he could get the um, wrap on here flush. Then he wrapped the lip, then reapplied it so it's not like tucked in and it's not gonna peel out or something like that. Yeah, so this, this is actually a little bit challenging. Tailgates are often a little difficult to do. Some people struggle with them, but this was all done in one piece and then the film was pulled that way as opposed to down and over, which a lot of people would do. And that basically avoids a lot of extra film that would have bunched up here. So, so it means you effectively avoid adhesive lines and any distortion in the vinyl as it's moved over the, the tailgate. Man. And it just means that there's no seams at all. No so seams, no few, seams. A few mil of clearance between the lip spoiler, but I just wanted to do it in one. Man, it's look, it looks and, and great. And white as well. Right just trying to get under there would have been right. impossible 
I love how I love how it came out, man. I love I love how this black carries on from the um from the from the uh what do you call it the the black roof? Yeah, the um Sunroof. sunroof yeah 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 and then all of the doors and everything because this is a daily driver we went an extra step and just sealed all of the doors obviously this is going to be outside more it's very different to the lamborghinis the ferraris or the weekend uh, weather toys yeah it just gives you extra piece of insurance that nothing is, is going to move and also being a white car as well it just gives it more of a factory contrast that, that flows with the original seals man and everything so you can see even even like the side skirts and everything everything was sealed so just so it gives it a more seamless uh, integration in oh okay oh, okay so when you seal it is that like um another wrap material yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay okay it's, it's a specific edge sealing uh, oh okay type. You know, it's it's not an essential. I mean, uh -huh. it's a clean install. But I like that. I like that though. Yeah. Things. It's just a much more robust yeah. material than the vinyl. What I didn't do, I didn't. I mean, you can see we've got nice clean lines with nice tape here. Yeah. But obviously, you've already got factory seals that that sort of protect. Yep. protect this area yeah plus this is sort of yeah more yeah the there's not gonna be so I, I left that but obviously yep. areas that will get a lot Man, of ingress and things gotta love it yes sir yeah. the, the so level of detail sometimes when you see a color of a car that you like or a wrap color that you like sometimes it's a little bit different in person than what it is in video and the wrap on my um, Lamborghini Aventador while it is a light blue it's from Avery I think what they were trying to do with that color it's almost an exact match to like a grabber blue or I don't know what they call it on the, um, the Corvette, but we'll see. But they tried to match this color uh, from Avery. It's more, it has a little more turquoise in it um, in person than in video. So you guys might not see it on this video, but um, if you see this car in person, it's the color's got a little bit more turquoise in it. I'm looking for the name of the color in there. Yeah, so the color's called Rapid Blue. And the, my wrap is the exact same color as Rapid Blue. All right, so Biggs got some accents, man. Let's go over uh, what you did that's different to your car, man. So y'all see the red laser pinstripe going around the edge right there. That's brand new. Yeah, I basically did like a, I took the Pirelli edition. That's, my, that's the inspiration. The, the concept of the per okay. Yeah. So per I, wrapped, I wrapped the roof in glass block. Sea no, no, no. life did it. You know, sea life. So we got the black gloss on the roof. This already was black gloss already. Yeah, this was bla glass block. Yeah. This right here is added 
and then added the accents and the diffuser and the side skirts and the front lip. Look at that. See, I like this because one thing about his car, he has the nicest interior on a Huracan that I've ever seen with the red, the, car, the um, matte carbon. Now he's got the pinstripes. He's got the customization right there, bigs. That's dope. Blacked out the roof. The other thing I like about his car is the paint is actually a factory matte. What's the name of that color? It's called uh, Grigio Titan, but it's a matte and it's factory. Yeah, Grigio Titan matte. That thing is dope. And he's got the gloss black accents on it. And now he's got the red pinstripe. Y'all hit, th hit a thumbs up for me. If y'all like that. Oh, I like that little detail right there too, right there. The little yeah, that was all sea light. Yeah. Sea light did all that. That was that was dope. That yeah, was that was yeah. dope. I like that. I liked it too. Yeah, yeah that, that's creative. That. He did that, I yeah, C Live, C Live, shout out to C Live. C Live wrapped my um Aventador right there in the rapid blue. Alright, so we're here at Esoteric. We've got the owner of Esoteric over here entertaining folks. Big shout out to the owner of Esoteric. But we always got to come inside to check out the heat that they have here. Oh, they got some cool stuff. They got the uh, BMW over there. They got the R8. Uh, excuse me. We got these fellas over here hanging out. Look at the mat, though. Is this? Oh, they put PPF on this. P63S. Man, my Audi wrap looks so good that it almost looks just like this as far as, but this is paint, of course. We got the R8 right there. So, Esoteric is known for super high quality, high end um, detailing, PPF, you know, paint protection films, uh, anything you want to do as far as detailing your car. They like, <laughs> there's Paul. They do it at a high, super high level. So people send them hyper cars, uh, everything. They're, I think they're in the process of expanding right now as well. But yeah, we got the, the Testarossa. This used to be my favorite car when I was a kid. That was my favorite car. It was one of the first cars, I believe, production cars that could uh, do over 200 miles an hour. Courtney also brought his uh, Aventador right there. With the with the accents on it and everything, y'all gotta see. You gotta see the Aventador. Check it out. I like how he wrapped the uh, the roof and the. It's nice, man. He got the uh, gloss black center caps. That's what I need on mine. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, we got a four five eight over here. I like the 458. There it is. That's classic, man. All right, so later on today, I have an appointment with uh, Ferrari, actually, to check out the new Ferrari GTB 296. It is a car that's coming out probably a year from now, but maybe I'll trade in my F12 for the Ferrari GTB 296 have something new for the channel. Maybe be one of the first people to have that new Ferrari that's coming out. If you have, if you guys haven't seen it, it's uh, very impressive. It's going to be like uh, 800 plus horsepower hybrid. So I'll take you guys with me to go to the appointment. But after we leave here, we got to get something to eat. <laughs>